So our family, the boys and my husband and I, are very involved in our local scouting with the Boy Scouts of America. And every year now for, this will be our third year doing it, we offer up this garden space right here to any scouts needing to use it for the gardening merit badge. Sorry, there's a lot of traffic, it's five o'clock. Lots of traffic, five o'clock is fun. Anyway, so every year, this is our third year doing this, we offer up garden space to local scouts and their families to be able to use it. The scouts use the garden space to be able to do their gardening merit badge for scouting. And um, got to meet with an awesome scout earlier today and he is super excited to get to use this garden bed for his gardening merit badge starting, I think he's gonna plan on, he said on March. So he's got a 12 foot by 10 foot garden bed right here that he'll be using. We enjoy working with the kids, offering up the space, offering up knowledge. And it's always amazing what I actually learn from the scouts. Like for instance, one of the uh, requirements, my goodness, the traffic. Anyway, one of the requirements for the gardening merit badge is to sprout seeds to test for germination. And last year, there was a scout that I was working with that he chose to um, sprout marigold seeds. And I said, well, they can be a challenge, but go for it. Absolutely try it. And of all things, and I, I never even considered doing this, but he put them in a paper, um, paper towel and a baggie and sprouted them in the window with a 97 or 98% success rate. That is crazy awesome. So that was, you know, I learned that from that kiddo. So I'm always excited to see what we're gonna learn with these kids each year. Um, I know it's only January, but we're all itching for gardening season to just be happening already. What are you guys planting in 2020? Are you planting in a garden? Do you have a pot, windowsill? What are you doing? Okay, so the other night, I took an entire chicken and cooked it up. Tonight, I'm going to be pulling away all the meat. See the uh, drippings down there? I'm gonna be removing all of that from the pan. It's then gonna go in here. You can see I've already got started. I'm gonna be warming it up and then adding to this vegetables. So I've got bell pepper, onion, uh, zucchini, mushrooms, mustard, greens, and asparagus. All of this is going to be chopped up and added to the chicken to make a soup for everybody's dinner tonight. It looks pretty unimpressive right now, maybe even a little bit icky, but it's going to be amazing when it's done. chicken vegetable soup, or as my kids call it, stew. <laughs> um, after deboning the chicken, adding the chicken drippings, and then I, I set it on a low heat, and then started adding vegetables, added four cups of water, and then it simmered for 30 minutes to get all the goodness simmered out of those vegetables and into the main soup there. And then there at the very end, I added a quarter cup of butter, and then um, some of us will have it just like that and some of us will probably put some sour cream and maybe some cheese with it. Super simple but very good for you. So you guys know what? A funny story when it comes to chicken soup in my family. My mom made chicken soup a lot when I was a kid and it never failed. Ever. Every single time she would make chicken soup one person in our family would always find, even if it was just one bone, one person was guaranteed to find the one and only bone in that entire meal of chicken, whether it was soup, stew, chicken and dumplings, chicken salad, I don't know, whatever it was. 
one per and it was always the same person who always found the chicken bone. So you two, let's see who finds the chicken bone. You think I snuck one in on you? And the boys are like, no. It's a rare evening. They get to eat in the living room because the kitchen table's kind of sort of taken over. We'll see if anybody chokes on a chicken bone.